So yesterday we did linear search and binary search. I advise you to write down three times this linear search, three times binary search without looking. And if you don't know, then first go through it, learn it, understand it, and try to again do it. So do three times without looking these two search. Okay, I will take tests maybe tomorrow. First you finish three times without looking. So let's go to this part today. So here in this part, search of substring, I will I will explain more how the code will work and then you have to write the code. Let me write on the basics. Let's work on the basics and we will be doing this part. So what is this about? Okay, let me create a new file in there. Okay. So here I will put the explanation string search. Okay, this was search string or string search. Okay, I will write down then I will talk about it. Suppose you want to count the number of time a smaller string appears in a longer string. So there is one longer string and in that string we have smaller string multiple times. So we have to count the number of times that string appears in the larger string. Okay, so for example, if I say mango, banana, let's say I'm just putting anything, string, apple, again I'll put mango, and I'll say strawberry. So let's say this is a string, and I will ask you how many times mango appears in the string. So mango appears two times. So you have to return two number. So if I want to search mango in this string, uh, I want to search mango in the string and how many times it appeared in this string. First we have to search whether Mango has appeared, and then how many times it has actually appeared. Now, let, let's say we will make a function, search string, and I will pass long and short. So long will be, let's say, this one, and the short will be mango. And then you have to return two times, because two times mango appeared in this one. Okay, here we write a pseudocode. So how we will try to do? Can anyone tell me uh, what what should we do in this one? So how how can I how can I search this mango in this whole mango? Okay, let let me ask you a simple question. Let's say if I yeah, tell me tell someone is saying. Yeah, we need to split based on the space. Okay, so you're saying it's split based on it's automatically split it. So when you when you have the, the string, the string, this is already split. You can look through it directly without really splitting it. Okay, in JavaScript, it's already split. It. So you can, can use substring. Substring method. Okay, we. Okay, let, let me ask. Uh, let me ask. Uh, you know, uh, the simple question. Let's say if I go to this whole string one by one. Let's say I take mango. So here we are not considering the uppercase, lowercase. Consider everything is in lowercase, and we're searching in lowercase. We will not do that part manipulation in this project. Uh, consider everything is uh, same letter, okay, small letter. So let's say if I take mango, 
right? Uh, this is the strawberry, right? So if I take this M, this is the bigger, longer string, and then I will take this M here. Okay. Then if we find the match, M, M, because M, M is there, then I will go to A and find the next letter here, which is also same. Then I'll go here and check here, the same. Then I'll check this G and G here, the same. Then I take O and O is same. So when all letters are matching, I will make a count of one. Okay, then I will go ahead, uh, ahead like, then again, I will start with A here. Okay, so because we have to go through all the letters of here. We started with some main M. Okay, let me create another string that will be easy. Let's say hello. This is a longer string, and we have to check EL is there or not. So first I'll check H is matching with the E. No, not matching. Then I'll move to the E. You have to go each element. I have to go each element of this larger string. And once we find this first letter matching, I will be starting starting to compare all other letters also whether it's matching or not. So first time I will match H. H is there? No. So I will go to E. E is there. Once E is there, then I will try to match all other letters of this E with this EL. Now we got EL. Then we'll make the count of one. Then we have to go until N because there may be EL, more EL. Then I will check this L and L is not there. Then I'll check this L. L is not compared to here. Then I'll check O. I'll compare with this E. It's not same. So I will only make count of one as the solution. So this is a high level explanation, but I will write down the pseudo code and then you go tell me what will be the real code for it. So first step will be loop over the larger string. So who will write the code of looping over this larger string or that is the long? I want the code. Just put it in the chat of only this pseudo code level part one. So first you have to look through the whole long string. So how will you look through this larger string? Uh, sir, your voice is not audible. Okay, sorry, sorry, uh, I was muted. So what I'll do, I'll since no one has, uh, no one has written, I will just, uh, I will just uh, go with the Manfred solution. So let we to go to let i equal to zero, i less than long dot length i plus plus, and then I do console of log and see what we have in each one. Okay, so let's try to put some examples. 
hello. I will put all small letters. We are not trying to do uh, letter comparison and I will search for EL. Okay, Let, let's write on some EL at the last also so that we can get two count. Okay, let me run this and we'll see what console we are getting it. Okay, so since hello world is there, you will see I zero one two three four, and here we get hello and the world and the EL. Since I have to compare this with each, let's say two letter of this or two letter of this or two letter of this or two letter of this. So I have to go through each one and take first letter, compare it with this E. And if it is matching, then I will take another letter and try to go through all the letters of this second string. Okay, so let's write down the second step. So first step is done, we loop over the long string. Okay, now next one is loop over, loop over the shorter string. Now, a loop over the shorter string. So what we have to do, uh, here I have to loop over the shorter string. Here will be a second step. So give me this code for the second step. Can anyone give me the code for the second part? So second is we have to go through all this one. So whenever I take edge, I have to go through all the small string. Whenever I take E, second letter, I have to go through all the letters of the second string. Whenever I go L, I have to go through all the letters of the EL. Whenever I go next L, we have to go through all the letters. So we have to look second time here for the shorter string. Okay, Kate has given, Manpreet has given this I equal to short, okay. So generally, if we have I here, you cannot write down I inside it also. Okay, so it will, it will, yeah, Subramanian has given this also. So let's write down this J. J equal to zero. J is less than short dot length J plus plus. Okay, so we are now going through the shorter loop. Okay, now let's do the console.log of this one. And I'll do console.log. So here I will say i equal to i and j is equal to or I or I write on the J only. I is there. And the value will be short of J. So first I will run this one. Then I will run all the small shorter one and then I'll put console dot long. So let's start again. So first I will take the I. I is zero. I at the zero is H. Once I check the H, I will go through all the second letter one, E and L. Then I will go to E, this E, and then I match all E and L. Then I will go L, then I will check with E and L. E and L is nothing but this one. Then I will check another L and I will try to compare with E and L in this second one. Then I go O, and then I check all E and L in the second one. Then I check space, and I compare with E and L. Then I go world, W, O, R, L, D, 
after that I do space and then again I do E and I check EL again here then I'll go with L and I check EL again here in this one okay so this is how we will be looping it now next step initially initially I will create one variable which will track the count because we need a count of how many letters we count like this EL EL is two times here so we have to return to one and two so we will be putting it in this count also I will create one array to know which elements uh, to know you know uh, we, we can put anything maybe to know which uh, starting index it matches okay so for example in this case 0 and 1 so I can put 1 in this array that from 1 we are getting match and also we will take the index of this one and we'll say this is also matching the index of this also we will put it in the uh, in the array okay to know which index we got match okay let's go further now okay now now let's say uh, let, let, let's say let's say first time we got first time we got edge okay that is the uh, 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 that is the number of i, you know, i zero, and then, okay, one second, maybe. we we get this i as a zero. Okay, let me write on the pseudo character, the pseudo code, and then we'll work on it. So we try to match. We try to match uh, the string from the longer loop, longer string with the shorter one. We try to match the string from long string and match it with short string. And so if we don't get match then we break out of inner loop break out of inner loop okay let's understand this one okay so short of j let's think of the short of j what is the short of j in the first case E right it's a E in the first case and we have to match we have to match with this first character of this one we have to match E with this first character of this one so what is this one this one is I right this one is I okay so let's try to match only the first character if short of J okay before before I write down we need to write on the console also so let's try to put the long of I also okay so I'm putting I'm putting short of J and the long of I let's try to break here okay after the first call we'll break Yes. So we will not go, we will not go to i equal to 1. We will, we are only checking this part. Let's try to check this part. Okay. So what we have, 
we have short of j is e and we have the long of i is h right in this case it is not matching right it is not matching these two are not matching so we can skip it and we can break it and we can check the next letter okay so i can say if short of j is not equal to equal to long of j then we will break it Is it long of eight? Long of uh, I, but long of I, right? And if I will only do it for two cases because I, I don't want to run the whole thing to show you. Uh, just let me do only two things. So I will say if I is greater than one. For temporary, I will put in this only. Only I will delete this part. So I only want to do two cases. One is H and one is one is H and one is E part. So what I will do? Okay, let's remove this again. Okay, let's run it again. Okay, so we are running this two times only. One is for the H case and one is for the E case. I greater than zero. Yeah, I want to run for two cases, H and E. So in the first case, I is H, hello world. And then I check the shorter string, shorter string where the value is E. So these both are not same. Since both are not same, that means it is not the valid. And we have to go to second case, second I. And in the I at the position of the one, we have the value of E. And then I will check the shorter string. Shorter string E is also equal to E. When E is also equal to E, then I have to check this next string also. But next string should not match with the E. Okay? Because when you are reaching to this E, and then you're checking this L, L, this L should match this L. But here what we are doing, we're checking this L with the first string only. So when, when we get a match, we should increment this also, this also, the longer part also to plus one so that it should match with this one because I cannot keep long of i. Long of i will always be e. Then I will not be able to match. If we are getting first case match, then in the second case, here we have l, that is in the short j l. So we should match with the third number, not the second number. Is that clear what I am talking? What I am trying to say? Because let's say we are matching with the Let's say we are matching with the edge first. We don't get match. So we don't we don't care what is next. First letter is not match, and we should break out immediately, right? But if first letter is match, then we have to match the second letter with the second letter of the long string, not the I. Because the first time, first time we match correctly. So second time we have to increase it by one so that it should match the third string, third string with this L. These are the short string E and L. These are the long string. Here I'm putting long of I. So I'm matching with E long of I. That means if it is match, then second time I should match with L with this L, this L, not the E. Okay, so so what we have to do? So this one, 
initially we say long of i, long of i is e, right? Long of i is e. When we go to second number, that is j equal to 1, then long of, we have to do 1 plus more 1 plus. So what we can do, i is coming from here and j is starting from 0. So always I will append i plus j. So what will happen? In the first case, it will take, it will take, uh, forget about h. In the first case, e is matching with the e because i plus 0, i is 1. What is the index of e? i, that is 1. And if I add z, uh, j, that is a 0, so it will be self e only. And the second time when it will loop, second time when this will loop, the j will become 1. And so it will become i, that is 0 plus, uh, 0 plus 1, right? 0 plus 1. In, in, in our case, it will be 1 plus 1, that is 2. And so it will take the e l. So let me, let me run it and then I'll expand it again. So here you will see short is coming e and l, e and l, and then long is also coming e and l. So, so because when we move this one, if we find this match, then we should increment. Second time when we check it, we should increment with the one plus. One plus is nothing but we will be using j for our variable purpose. But in reality, what is happening? First time when we are getting e correctly, then we are adding one plus and we are checking l. And if we have still bigger letters like e l l then we will be doing one more plus. Let me show you. So now here, we have E, we are checking with the E. Then we have L, we are checking with the L. And then we have another L, we are checking with another L. So what is happening? In the second loop, we are increasing one by one with the long string so that we can compare the long string with the short string which we have. Now, we will see, we'll check, we'll say if short of j is not equal to equal to long of i plus j because we have to compare plus j because we have to increment every time if we are matching, we have to increment every time and if it is not matching, then we will break it. Okay, so we will only break it if we are if we are not getting this equal to this match we should always get this equal to this match if we don't get this match then that means that means it is not a match and we should come out so here if we case, take this first case e is not equal to h that means this is not equal to this then we will break it immediately we don't need to go it again for the second of the j and in this case, we are matching E and E, then we'll go to this one and we match it. So we are increasing one by one the longer string so that we should match the whole word, not the first letter. Okay, now let's try to see the counting, how to do the counting. If we see everything successfully, if we reach this point, then how we are, sh how to make sure that we are at the last part, that is, we are at the last of the string, that is L, so that we come out, we put it in the count, because we, we have to see if there is a match, then we have to count plus one. So what should I write in the if condition, so that I should be assured that this is the last letter I am checking, this is the last letter I am checking, so that I can put it in the count. I will add the count plus plus. And then I can also put i inside the array so that I know which index I am trying to look over it. So what should I put in this if condition? Can anyone tell me how to make sure that I am at the last letter and so I have to increase the count?
I think your uh, link should match this one. Okay. I mean, uh, yeah, can you write down? Can you write down in the thing? In the chat, because sometimes your voice is not very clear. I'm not sure. So what should I put it here? Those who know, they just type it. So anytime if it does not match it, anytime if this value it does not match it, this one I will break it. That means it is not a match. But how to make sure? Yes. Can you can you write down anyone? I want the answer from anyone. So, how to make sure that we have reached this, this last part? It should be that this J, this J should be the last index of this one. How will you write down this J equal to this last index of this one? I want this J should be the last index of this one, the shorter one, so that I know that all the elements are matched. If any one of the element is not matched, it will already be outside this if statement. It will be already gone to break. Break means it will be outside this loop. So how to make sure? Yeah, J dot length, it is not a function. J dot length is equal to equal to? j short dot length is equal to equal to i plus j so we we have to check only j we don't care about i in this case because we have to make sure that j is completed its journey so there's no need for i so you have to change your uh, code to take only the j not the i because when you are in the second loop we don't care about i to know that if all elements are done if all elements are done means this J should be equal to something that is the length of this one, uh, this index. It should be equal to this index, the last index. Yes. So Manpi, if it is short dot length, then it will go outside this boundary. So it should be short dot length minus one. So this part, if j is equal to equal to short dot length minus 1, that means it has reached this last index. And if j has reached the last index, that means all the letters are matching from this to this one. So then we have to count it and we have to push it. And in the end, in the end, I will just do console.log of count is count and console.log of array is array to see what is coming and I will return the count. Okay, I have to finish this pseudo code, but I, I explained it first. I will put in the pseudo code again. Let's run it now. So you will see, first let's check the edge. And it again take E with H, E with H. It is not matching, then it goes break. Then it goes to letter to E, and it matches with E, E, L, 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 L. Since all three got matched, it will add the count to plus one. Then it will go to next letter, that is L. In the L also, E, L doesn't matches, E, L does not matches. It comes out of the second loop. It is coming out of the second loop. And in the last one, it is giving E and A. E is matching, L is matching, but last part is not matching because in the last we have only one L, but here we are checking two L. So the last part is not matching, so it will come out. It will not add in the count. So we see the count is one. If we, if we would have checked only E L, 
then we would, would have got count equal to 2 and we are getting index of 1 and 12. So let me uh, let me write down this pseudo code again which I had to match the string from longer string and match it with the short string. If we don't get match then we break out inner loop. They start on the fourth. If the character do match we keep going. So we keep going. If character is matching, that means we are keep going this for loop. If it does not match it, we break. And if it matches, we keep going this part. Again, we keep going this part. We keep going this part. Then let's go to the fifth number. If you complete the inner loop and find a match, increment the count of matches. So if we complete the inner loop, how to know comp inner loop is done? J should be equal to short dot length minus one. If J is equal to this, that means we have completed the inner loop and we add this count plus plus. Now six is return the count. So this is the fifth number is this one. Fourth number is fourth number. Third and fourth number is this one. Because both are tied to this if condition. And then sixth number is the return the count. Is it clear how we are trying to touch the substring? Okay, so what you do is this approach the basic. Okay, so thing is that there there are some other ways also. If you see this one is going to this is going to double and square kind of thing. So there there are some good ways also. Uh, those are little complex, and you know we will not do those ways for this problem okay so you, uh, this is not the best way for this problem but at least uh, at least this is one of the way to do it kind of thing there is one complex way we we may do later in our course okay so for this problem only we are getting uh, giving some complex uh, uh, you know yeah, so we are looping two times. Looping two times is not the real right way kind of thing. But for this one, at least we achieve the result which we want. There are some best, better ways than this one, which we, we do at the later part because those are complex and uh, I'm not sure I, I can take that now. But, uh, you know, after some time when we are done with other problems, we will we'll see some other ways also to do this. Okay, so what is the complexity here? Complexity here is, you know, so let's say, yeah, so we have n into m kind of thing because what is the complexity of n into m? So generally, you, you, can, you can think of n square because both may be kind of equal or little bit up and down. So this has complexity of n square, which is not the best way. Yeah, which is not the best way to do this, but at least uh, uh, we we achieve something for this one. But uh, I will I will see, you know, in the future classes to show you some example of this same one with less complexity. So for now, just try to learn this one only. At least you can understand the problem. You can do this in the in your interview. Uh, but it, this is not the hundred percent best way. I will say. Okay, let me write down this. Let me put a page for this view and then 
you can practice it. So do this problem also three times at home. You know, whatever exercise we do, just repeat it three times without looking that way. You know, that way you will master this algorithm. Let me let me get a page for this. So this is called a nay search. Nay search means this is not the best way kind of thing. But uh, you know, before going with the best way, we should know we should know at least how to approach in the in the easy way. And then next time we will do much complex way. Uh, we'll do the code will be complex, but uh, the complexity will be less complex. Okay, so for now, just practice this one only. And do three times binary search, three times linear search, and three times this one. Uh, tomorrow we'll take some other topic in the JavaScript. At least you can finish these three parts of the search. So one of the base uh, common question in interview is the binary search. You know, linear search, search, search string uh, are not very common, but binary search is common. So try to put more effort in binary search. You should have this everything in your mind. If you cannot remember in three times, do five times, six times, but try to make this as a perfect in your mind. These two, at least you should know but these are not very important for interview. This is the most important in the whole interview. Any questions? Okay, so, so that's all for today.